Not so long ago, we went aboard the ESA Extra 86 and I was impressed by her family-friendly layout and all-round livability. Today, we're aboard the brand new Extra 96 by ESA Yachts, which is making her international debut at the 2021 Cannes Boat Show and comes at the upper end of the Fiberglass Extra lineup. Personally, I have very high expectations, so let's take a look around. The first thing to notice about the Extra 96 is that she's a full tri-decker with a sun deck, what Easy Yachts calls a triplex. But there are now two other configurations available in the Extra lineup, the loft and the fast. The exterior design by Francesco Guida retains the distinctive lines of the original Extra 76, but clearly the extra decks means there's much more interior volume and exterior space to play with. And in fact, at just under 30 meters in length, the Extra 96 feels much more super yachty. Here on the main deck aft, we have these freestanding chaise long facing the wide terrace steps onto the swim platform and there's a bar unit in front of the sliding glass doors leading into the main salon. The tender, by the way, is not stored under the transom, but in a garage under the big sun pad on the foredeck. But there are a couple of hatches on either side of the swim platform that can take two sea bobs. The main salon is quite a formal space, but the interior design by Milan-based Hot Lab manages to make it both sporty and sophisticated with contrasting light and dark woods. This decorative herringbone pattern in the parquet floor, reflective surfaces and splashes of color based on blue, turquoise and teal, all motifs that run throughout the yacht but can be tailored on request. Moving beyond the salon bulkhead into the lobby and the yacht becomes wide body. On the one side we have access from the starboard side deck for guest use and on the other a good sized pantry with direct access from the other side deck and below deck to the crew quarters. The master stateroom on the main deck forward is one of the highlights of the Extra 96. It's preceded by a private study space, a walk-in closet in the middle with a vanity table on the other side. Note the rounded edges of this threshold so you don't bump yourself on any sharp corners in a seaway and this half wall of glass with a metallic fibre embedded inside so that natural light from the large windows filters throughout the owner's area. When combined with the rather grand bathroom, this is a wonderfully relaxing space to retire to each evening. In addition to the full beam owner stateroom on the main deck, the Extra 96 has four spacious guest cabins with ensuite bathrooms on the lower deck. Almost as much space is dedicated to the accommodation for five crew, as well as a crew dinette and laundry in the forward section. This is partly thanks to the 7.6 meter maximum beam, but also because the compact Volvo Penta IPS thrusters in the stern take up less room than conventional engines with drive shafts. Moving to the upper deck, we see some really novel solutions with this lovely dining space with glass sliding doors on both sides so you can dine on the inside as if you're on the outside. And rather like the Extra 86, if you remember, here we have a fully equipped galley with a half window, effectively a show kitchen, and on the other, a bar unit with a high-low window overlooking the open aft deck. The 
The sun deck is a little oasis on top of the boat. It's probably what you'd call a commuter sun deck because there's no hard top, but you can have an awning supported on four carbon fiber poles. And there's plenty of sunbathing space, as you can see, a height adjustable table for dining al fresco and a complete kitchen unit for cooking. You may have noticed that to save deck space there are no exterior stairways on the boat. Instead, a single interior staircase connects all the deck levels and emerges here on the sun deck from under a glass sliding hatch. Like her smaller siblings, the Extra 96 is powered by Volvo Penta IPS drives, in this case three 1350 units of 1000 horsepower each, which are most powerful in the IPS lineup. For a top speed of 17.5 knots and a cruising speed of 13 to 15 knots, with 13,000 litres of fuel in the tanks, she has a cruising range of 2000 nautical miles at an economical speed of 10 knots. Thanks also to the dual mode hull, the ride feels comfortable but also responsive and comfort is further enhanced with a pair of CMC electric stabilizers but there's also the option for an extra Seakeeper 35 gyro stabilizer for a little bit more comfort, especially at anchor. The Extra 96 Triplex is the latest iteration in the brand's original mission when it launched the Extra 76 in 2018, which was to offer the market something different. A series of compact yet comfortable motor cruisers with close contact with the sea and a distinctive personality. Despite the leap up in size and volume, EC Yachts have managed to retain all these key qualities on the Extra 96 